hello welcome back to our, another video and in today's video we'll be showing you how to add um, a remote and also a little review on the ZK Teco barrier slash leaf path gate so let's get straight to the video okay so if you want to add a um, new remote so the first step will be to open the panel through the key that comes with the packaging then you can see there's a case and there's a cover casing. So what we have to do, we have to get a screwdriver for that to remove that. So we've gotten our screwdriver. We're just going to loosen that up a bit. Yeah, and that once that is out, we want to locate the LEN button, which is right over there. This is what you will need if you want to add remotes or even if you want to delete remotes from this system. So that's the LEN button over there. So to add a remote, what you do, you hold it for about two seconds. So you just press it down. So that's the learn button. Want to add a remote now? You just hold it down for about two to three seconds or less than. Then you press the remote twice, and as you can see it's controlling the gate. That's how. Now that remote has been successfully added. If you want to add another remote, it's the same process. You hold it for like two to three seconds and you press the button, if any button on the remote that you would like to add to this system. As you can see, the that remote has been successfully added. So next up, we're going to learn how we can delete a remote or reset this system. So the first step will be to locate the learn button and hold it down for about five seconds this is this process is useful like in case you have installed a double lift barrier for someone and it's having remote clashes so this could be your solution so once you're done holding it down the remote has been deleted from the system as you can see we're trying it it's not working so in case you have like issues you installed it in a place that has double barrier and that like this remote is controlling the wrong gate this could as well be your solution yeah, so once you are done with that we are just going to put the lead back on the panel so screw it back lock it up and you are good to go so let's just test it up as you can see it works just fine make sure you subscribe to our channel we've got more content coming up in our upcoming videos See you on the next one. Bye for now.